What up, folks? We're back again. We can't be stopped. We can't be reasoned with. You thought you got rid of us. We're here again. You can't read of us. And there's a reason why. Because we care. We, we love you. No? A bit weird. Nope. Not buying it? A bit weird? Yeah. All right. Bringing it back. Yeah. Crawl. Crawl back. We've been relaxing on the beach and we found this bottle and inside it was a note. And inside mm. was probably the most disturbing request for help that we've ever had here in our long careers here on the Wreck Lagoon. You ready? Someone's written into us today and said, my co-worker, who is a little bit of an older lady, has been making sexual comments towards me at work. Mm. And this is from now, a Tom, younger you have lady. A, yeah, you have a little bit more context to this, don't you? Okay, so in the note, the wash up on the beach, not only does it say that this uh, uh, woman in her 50s has been making lots of sexual remarks towards this younger, to a 24-year-old co-worker, so this poor girl is getting a bit concerned and has even included some of the items, some of the things that has been said. And if I may, I will quote, I was shaking up some developing lotion to dye my service user's hair. I assume that they work at a, uh, what's it called, with the haircuts and stuff. Salon. Salon. They work at a salon. Perhaps dye my service user's hair. And she made a comment that I am out of practice. Oh, wow. She told me that her husband's ding dong fits perfectly into her dang. ding dang. dang. <laughs> That's what we in the business like to call TMI, too much information. She told me about her daughter's sex life in a way with so much detail to the point that now she knows what kind of contraception they use. She said that I look like I've lost weight as my jeans look baggy on my ass. I didn't think that's particularly. Sexual. Yeah, I that's would just, say that was a little bit of a, an body, inappropriate body comment. Shape. I don't know how it's I would feel if someone. We saw a tree with some white colored substance on them and she exclaimed that it was. A bell. She said that I would look glowing if I got pregnant. And then said that I would be neurotic about my children for the first few months. Not sure what that means. And uh, finally, and I'm getting into ones that I haven't read, so I could be putting my foot on a landmine here. I mentioned offhandedly that a character on a TV was good looking. And she laughed and said, I think you're just horny as hell. I can re recommend some toys for you if you would like to take care of that. Wow. There's a lot. And, and the list goes on, but I'm afraid to continue any further. So I think that if the younger person who these comments are kind of directed to feels that they are inappropriate and she's uncomfortable with them, then she needs to report them to her HR or to her manager. Mm. Um, or in, at least in the first instance to say, I'm not comfortable with that. Please don't make comments like that in front of me. Or don't you towards think me. Don't you think it's fair to fire a warning shot before you start bringing in the feds? Yeah, that's why I said, yeah. So just say, you know, that's that's not OK. I'm not comfortable with that. Yeah. And if it continues, then, you know, go higher up the chin. Yeah, I would definitely like someone to say, Tom, I love the I love the energy, but you need to you need to calm it down, son, and, mm, and just leave it at that. Because if she might be doing it in jest or she's obviously got some kind of um, built up desires that she wants to discuss um, by the sounds of things. So, yeah, first instance, have a little chat. It's going to be awkward, but just, you know, pull the pull the plaster off. And then um, if it continues, you're going to have to you're gonna have to take it a bit further. My opinion is that this woman the, the old the, the the lady in her 50s is at a certain point in her life where she's stopped caring as much about exactly what comes out of her mouth and believe me i crossed that line a little while back uh and now people <laughs> have to tolerate me rather than learn to like me uh so that's the thing but really it comes down to one no social 
qualities that are holding her back from saying whatever's on her mind. Two, she's probably a bit horny. And three, uh, she just loves to talk crap. Yeah. Might just be her way of asking about the weather. <laughs> yeah. Uh, and, and also, it, it, there's a good chance that she's using all of this sensationalism as a way of really kind of making a, a connection. People, and I can attest to this personally, overcompensate um, with not being familiar with someone by maybe taking it to another ah. level, dialing up to 11. Uh, rather than patiently waiting for a person to open up. Uh, yeah. So you're, you're, you two are clearly from different generations and running on different tracks uh, as far as what you're comfortable with. Let's just let her know, hey, man, I, I, I don't want any of this. I do not want any part of what it is that you're laying down right now. Thank you. Let's talk about something else. Uh, and clearly, if they're talking about TV shows and looking at trees and discussing this, that and the other, then they're just nattering away all day. Uh, mm. And if it's, a, if it's a slow day, you're going to end up talking about something that maybe you're going to end up regretting bringing up in the first place, uh, especially in a, in a, uh, a salon. Uh, chin wagging is I mean... part of the job. Yeah, and everything just gets spoken about in a salon, doesn't it? Oh my it's, Lord, almost like, yes. it's almost like a therapy session. Mm. Yeah, uh, and I definitely, I've uh, working in bars. If you've ever worked in a bar, you have. Yeah, same, same okay, thing. Okay, and I have. <laughs> I, I've, 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 I've been a manager at a bar, and you know, you got to watch out, especially as the 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 not drunk person on one side of the bar. It's so easy to get pulled into conversations where you reveal some personal things about yourself because part of the job is to kind of really connect and be friendly and mm -hmm. make them feel happy so you know that they enjoy themselves and the atmosphere is great but of course as soon as you share that bit of personal information that's out there that's in the public domain and while they're getting more hammered and you're just doing your job don't be surprised if that comebacks to bite you in the ass at some point I don't know, have you ever experienced that? Or have you always kept your personal stuff under lock and key? Yeah, I normally like, because I worked in a nightclub, so they're really quite hammered by the time they're talking to you about all of this kind of rubbish. So I'm just like, yeah, yeah, oh, maybe you should do that. Yeah, why don't you try that? Yeah, yeah, kind of vague kind of comments just to keep the conversation flowing and them at least thinking that they're getting some kind of therapy out of you. <laughs> But normally it was too busy for me to like stop and chat really. So. so what Beth is trying to tell you is go with her option and get them absolutely shit faced. <laughs> and then just, just, you know, just nod and give the thumbs up and or agree. Have, and... have some kind of like um, agreement with your coworker that you just go, they see you in this situation and they just go, oh, you know, Joanne, can you just come and help me with this? Or I just need you to swap with me. Um, you know, that kind of agreement that you have with the weird uncle at weddings, someone who can drag you out of the dancing. Yeah, working with, a, I also at the same place got into a massive, uh, uh, like there was bad blood eventually between me and someone that I worked with because they made a comment. I tried to top them with my own joke and they took offense at that where I should have actually taken offense at the first thing that they said. But instead of take offense, I thought I'll take the high road here and just make light of it. And then we can laugh it off together. So yeah. I made a joke. And then he said, you said what? Right. And then he hated me for the whole time that we worked together. Mm. Like, and I thought this is horribly unjust because I, I should have been the one that was offended in the first place. But I, you know, um, so I can understand how uh, this person is reticent to really try and tackle it in any way because maybe you can say to them hey i had a uh, i was a little bit uh, offended by what you just said maybe we can just like and they they may lose their crap about that yeah but it's if you, difficult if you go over their head and take it to the boss then they're gonna hate you for that too like so you really got to kind of find where their emotional bite point is so you can find that groove so you can shut them up you can shut them down and at the same time not 
get stand on their toes or make them feel like you're better than them because that's that's what it comes down to they'll think that you're you know trying to be better than them if you uh if you don't want to listen to anything that they've got to say so be careful of that but if you've got some better advice you can email us or let us know in the comments yes um we're not experts this is just our opinion um so um no qualifications here so please do let us know wow. um we would love to hear them yes unrelated qualifications then <laughs> oh yeah but yeah if you want me to design you a video game then i'm your guy <laughs> <laughs> right thanks so much for stopping in hopefully we haven't made you feel uncomfortable with our descriptive and shocking sexual information uh unless of course that's what you want to hear in which case meet me down in the comments section and until next time we will see you on the next wreck peace Bye. Thank you so much for visiting The Wreck Lagoon. Please don't forget to like, comment and subscribe. We love hearing from you. So let us know your thoughts at wrecklagoon at gmail.com. Find us on Facebook and Instagram, details of which are in the description. So until the next time, stay safe, stay healthy. Remember to be kind always. And we will see you at the after party.